Hello everyone, we have already seen many questions of inheritance in last episode, last chapter. In this chapter, we are going to see more interview questions related to inheritance. So, coming to first question, can we use a parent class as if it's a child class? Yes, yes, yes. Parent class is not always a parent class. Let's say there is two classes, one is A and another is B. So, in this case, it looks like A is a super class and B is subclass. But there is another hidden class that is object. So, answer is yes, parent class also can act as a subclass of some other class. That's not a problem at all. Coming to next question, do private things in a class get passed down to child class? Answer is no, private things are only for that class where they exist. Do constructors and private things coming to subclass? Answer is no. If constructors are coming, means they become method and they will get error. Therefore, straightforward if I tell you the answer, it's no. Private, I already told in previous question. Next question is, when should we avoid using inheritance in programming? Whenever we need loose coupling. Inheritance makes tight coupling. Tight coupling means you cannot uh, exclude if you, you cannot exclude superclass if you are creating object of subclass. So, if you don't have any relation between the classes, if you don't have any common functionality between the classes, then you must avoid inheritance while programming. Can you show real life examples of a parent and child class? So, to answer this question, when it has been asked real life examples uh, in the project which you have used, you can have like this. You can have class customer then you can have class retail customer extends customer so if you look at this this is parent class and this is child class parent class is a customer and child class is a retail customer but if you want to impress uh, your interviewer then you can write more things like class wholesale customer extends customer so in this case what is happening in this case what is happening there are two subclasses of customer one is retail customer and another is wholesale customer because both people having age location and address so here you can have age location and address whereas some properties of retail customer are different and wholesale customer are different but common things will be coming here as well as here so in this way you need to explain because interviewer might be seeing your thinking ability your grasping your understanding your in-depth knowledge about some concepts so answer in this way are there any good rules to follow when designing how classes inherit things yes good thing i would say i already told in the last question itself if you have something common then you must make then you must make uh, that into the super class avoid having common things into the subclass always put that into the super class next Explain the idea of composition or inheritance. Inheritance, a lot of questions we have seen, uh, like uh, what is extend and what is definition of inheritance and when to use. But if you want, if you want loose coupling, then you use composition. Composition means it's a simple class where all features are embedded into a single class. Means it's very simple if I uh, tell you composition. Class X is there, write down all features there. But if you want to go with the inheritance, then you might be dividing features between class X, then class Y, then class Z, and there you are making relations between them. But in composition, that won't happen. It's a single class where you are putting everything into the same class, a lot of features. So that is what the composition. Coming to next question, guys. How can we stop class from doing inheritance? By making any class as a final, you can stop. Can interfaces do the same thing as inheritance? Yes, means in interfaces also you can have inheritance like 
interface A and then you can have interface B extends A. Yes, you can have. Even you can have interface C extends A. So that is possible in Java. So in case of classes and in case of interfaces, it is one and the same thing. Next question is, why don't classes allow having multiple inheritance but interfaces do? The, to answer this question, you must remember our previous question. Why multiple inheritance is not allowed in Java? So answer was two things. One is due to super key constructor call and another was diamond problem. Now, if you look at the interface, it doesn't have constructor. If I write down here interface, it doesn't have no constructor. No constructor means no super. So there is no question of calling super interface. So, so this problem is not there with the interface. Diamond problem, no problem. Diamond problem was like this. What was happening here in case of classes? Method of this and me this method is saying hi, this method was saying hello. So issue was whether, whether this D will get hi or hello. But in case of interfaces, no body. No body, so no question. Only signature is there. So either it can have signature of B or signature of C, it's same thing. So both problems are avoided in the interfaces. Therefore, it is allowed if you write this interface, therefore it is allowed here interface A extends B comma C. Is this allowed? Answer is yes. But in case of classes, it is not allowed. So please remember these two things. Next question. Can a class be both super class and a parent class be abstract? Means it is asking each, each super class can be abstract? Abstract? Answer is yes. Yes means abstract class A. Yes, possible. B extends A. Yes, it is possible. Okay, so it's very simple question. This will be last question. What job do you constructor have when it comes to inheritance? Yes, every class has constructor and every constructor has its first line as a super. So if you look at this example, I want to explain you this thing. These are very important things. Here it's class B. If you look at this, If you look at this, here there will be one keyword called super, which will be calling this automatically. You need to write class A, class B. Automatic initialization will be happening. Automatically initialization will be happening. So this is what the role of constructor in it. So subclass constructor will be calling superclass constructor and complete hierarchy will get initialized. So we have seen many questions in two parts for inheritance. I hope you understand every question. Prerequisite was you should be knowing concept of inheritance. Then these questions will be very easy to understand. Most of the experienced people are facing these questions. This is just one of my effort to consolidate all the questions and bring to you in this chapter. We will be seeing next topic in next chapter. Thank you.